Estate. It's drawn inside of Sterling Estate. Be ready. The Narogen Specialist wow. goes up on the Fury and the racing. And Speeding Comet got a quick start. So did Copy Fury and Sterling Estate. Captivated Point began well. Night Voyage, not so. It's back second last over on the fence. Guns of Navarone running fifth. McRoy's out a little bit wider. Night Voyage the inside trying to poke through. And further back is Chinstrap and Lofty Lad caught out wide and pulling. They're not going hard. Copper Fury leads the stable mate, Sterling Estate. Out three wider, Speeding Comet. On the inside, Captivated Point getting a great run. Then Guns of Navarone, McRoy. Night Voyage as well back on the inside, an awkward spot, Lofty Lad taken out wider, and then Chin Strap as they come around the home turn, Copper Fury Sterling Estate, Speeding Comet moved up stylishly on the outside for McNaught, and then came Captivator Point, Night Voyage, getting right up on the inside, but in the meantime it's uh, on the outside, Speeding Comet and McRoy coming now, and then Night Voyage getting up on the inside from Guns of Navarone, McRoy takes the lead, draws clear from Speeding Comet and Night Voyage and McRoy, McRoy came away to beat Speeding Comet, photo third Night Voyage the inside or Guns of Navarone out wider and then came Chin Strap, the weakening Copper Fury and Sterling Estate. They finished together. Lofty Lad didn't have a lot of luck and Captivated Point dropped out and it's 7 2 and a photo. One will get third on the inside. Night Voyage, I think, just in front of number six, Guns of Navarone. So seven wins at McRoy. Well, there was a lot of knockers for McRoy, and it's got right out the gate. 350 and 170 over two speeding Comet at 220. Third, Night Voyage has got there on the inside, number one, just ahead of uh, Guns of Netherone. So 721 and six official, 106, 11. And uh, with all the momentum down the outside, didn't, things didn't work out that well for the heavily backed Night Voyage. It needed a quick break, didn't want Captivated Point in front of it. It ended up much further back and uh, did rail up nicely, but had to make up too much ground. The petrol was used up by the time it uh, started to uh, close in on the leaders. And uh, Guns of Navarone was a fairly good effort down the outside into fourth race. It could be a midweek race for it. Seven, two, one, and six. So uh, we'll head downstairs now, and uh, Kate Whitten, who uh, is riding these sprint races so well, joining Brittany. Thanks, Richie. Is she ever? Kate, Richie just mentioning you're riding these sprint races so well. What is it about these dashes that uh, you found the key to? Um, I don't know. I think I just got a lot more confidence in my riding at the moment, and I'm getting on horses like Matt Croy. It's really helping me. And it was a good performance today. When did you think you had it won? Um, she got a really good run in running, although it's three deep, I had cover. Um, and she just put them away at the top of the straight. How important is that confidence? You're riding plenty of winners at the moment. Does it just have a flow-on effect and you just feel like it affects your riding so positively? Um, it definitely does. You make those decisions. If they're the wrong decision at the end of the day, you go, oh, well, I made that decision, um, but at least you've made one. Well, you're making all the right ones at the moment, Kate. Well done. Thank you. Good on you. Bruce Watkins joins us here. McRoy, lovely ride by Kate Whitten, but this is a good effort by your um, girl here, stepping up to a Saturday race and getting the job done nicely. Yeah, yeah, no, she's going well and um, she's always showed us good ability. But Kate, Kate rode her just like we wanted to ride and rode her quiet, but we were lucky to get a nice cart into the corner, so that, that helped too, but no, she, she run well. And she seems to be getting better with the way that she goes about her racing these days. Yeah, no, like I think the speed on today definitely helped at the 1,000, but I, I think she'll get up over more ground. OK, that is exciting. She's got that turn of foot, especially she can get over more ground as well. Yeah, no, she settles well in that, so hopefully she'll get up to the 14 down the track. Well done, mate. Thank you. There's Bruce Watkins there, the winning trainer. Mac McRoy defeats Speed in Comment. And then Night Voyage with a big weight, finishing third, fourth home guns of Navarone down the outside. So that's race four done and dusted. Time there, 59-2-1 over the 1,000. Now, Scenic Blast is out the back or out the front now. Oh, he's going to come out into the mounting yard, Scenic Blast, the front lawn. So I think we can have a pat of him. Some photos with the great Scenic Blast. So Scenic Blast, you can't miss him. He is a spectacular thoroughbred with a big white blaze. He's about to make his way down to the front lawn. Look at him, just like a pet. Here comes Scenic Blast now. So you can get your photos with the champ. 
and also he'll be paraded in the front yard coming up now.